guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ursel and today I'm going to do an update on my Project 5 pan. Uh, for the last month or so it's been like a Project 6 pan because I've had six products in it. And um, now I'm going to downsize it a little bit and go down to five again. So I've reached my goal on two products. This um, micro size uh, brow pencil from its essence I can barely see the writing here so um, this was in the color light brown and it was a really fine tipped brow liner which I really loved and I do prefer these kind of eyebrow pencils but they don't last a very long time because there's this much product and since it's so fine I use up one of these in like two, three weeks maybe. So even though this is cheap, I feel like it's a lot of unnecessary plastic and just, no, it's not unnecessary, but just the waste of using a product like that and then have, having to buy, maybe like I have to buy like 12, 13, um, pencils like these within a year that's quite a bit of plastic that's that was my point um, so I have been experimenting a little bit with um, brow pomades and other products but I find it hard to kind of land on one favorite because this is really my favorite way of application I love the way this looks. Um, it just looks very natural. It's easy to apply. It is fast. And, you know, even though I have to buy a lot of these throughout the year, they're still very cheap. So I haven't quite decided what I feel about this whole brow product thing yet. But I will say that this is a very good product. The downside is that you use it up very fast. But I'm pretty sure I will repurchase these because they're so handy and good to have and so easy. So I finished that one. And then I reached my goal on the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is the bronzer version. Um, and my goal was to hit pan and I just hit pan yesterday so I am very happy about that just a tiny tiny little bit but it's enough for me and because this is a tiny bit too dark for me at this moment I think I, I mean I, I just did a shop my stash video where I only included this as my bronzer but since I reached my goal I think I'm just gonna switch this out in my everyday makeup with the other bronzer um, that I have. This is the light version, light bronzer version, and this is so much better for, it's kind of an in-between uh, bronzer and a contour shade. So I can show you um, the two next to each other. I've hit pan on both of them, so this is the light bronzer. And this is the bronzer. They're quite similar, but I think you can see that this is quite a bit um, lighter and just so much easier to work with. So I'm just gonna switch those two around and put this other, this bronzer, the dark, the darkest one back to into my collection. And I'm really happy I've managed to hit paint on both on both of these bronzers because these are maybe my top, maybe they're my favorite bronzers. I can't make a decision on that right now, but yeah, I really love both of these for different times of year. Next, I have my Rituals Lip Balm with an SPF of 30. So this clicky thing, it makes me so happy every time I use it. I'm silly like that, but this is as far as I've come. So I'm nearly there. 
I just have the tiniest bit left, but since I reached my goal on these other ones, I got so excited about the bronzer, I just wanted to give you an update anyways. So I'm very close to finishing this. I won't repurchase, um, I don't think, because it wasn't like a, an amazing lip balm. It, it's not bad, but I don't feel like it's worth repurchasing. And also the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzers, I won't repurchase because they're not cruelty free anymore, unfortunately. And yeah, like I said, the Essence Eyebrow Pencil, I will most likely repurchase. Next, I have the e.l.f. HD Concealer in Light. Um, this is my darkest concealer and it fits me better in the summertime, but I'm trying to now use it up. So I mixed it with a lighter concealer and it works just fine. I still am not able to see how far down I've come, but I can still get product out. I haven't ta even taken out the stopper yet. So this is still going strong and I will do my best to finish this up. And I also know that I most likely will declutter this by the end of the year or when I have whenever I have a decluttering series because this is getting older and I can kind of tell that it's starting to dry out a little bit because I, I was wondering the other day when I applied it if if it, it's always been like this or if it's actually starting to get drier because I feel like I, I used to like it more before because it was hydrating and now I don't feel like it is. But it could also be my skin being more drier now for fall and winter time coming. Then I have the Jordana um, blush in Coral Sandy Beach. This is one of my favorite blushes and also one of my oldest blushes. So I just kind of need to one way or another try to get it out of my collection. So my goal is to uh, for now hit pan. And this is my progress. So you can see a little dent in it, but it's not big, so I, I can't see myself hitting pan on this anytime soon, but I'm going to continue to work on this. Like I said in my last video, it only came, contains 2.2 grams of product, so it's not really too much, so I should be able to hit pan on it. So hopefully I will. And lastly, I have my Catrice lipstick in 370 in a rose garden. There's a bit of product progress there, but I, I really have a hard time finishing these kinds of bullet lipsticks, uh, especially when they're a little bit too dark to just slap on without a mirror or anything. If they're a little bit more like my lips but better kinds of colors, it's just so much easier to use up. I can just throw it in my purse and apply it a little bit more often. But with this one, it's just a tiny bit too dark to do that, I feel like. Um, but it's a lovely lipstick. I really enjoy using it. I like the shade and I have nothing bad to say about it and yeah I like it if I will repurchase I don't know maybe maybe I would try another shade in this range of um, lipsticks so those were all the products I have in my project I now am left with four products so I want to pull in a fifth product product for this project and it's going to be uh, the foundation that I'm currently using. It's actually a baby cream from Isadora. This is what it looks like. This is actually one of my favorite containers. This, these kinds of pumps where I'm able to quickly get product out. I don't have to like screw anything up or <laughs> literally, literally screw anything up. Or, um, and I'm also able to um, get out most of the product, I think. If not, I can always like um, cut it open. But this is an all-in-one makeup 
color care coverage hydration protection for all skin types and my color is in number eight blonde beige and i really really enjoy this bb cream it is what i have on i just feel like it's so natural it's so hydrating it's great for i'd say normal to dry skin i don't think this is a good bb cream for very like oily skin i can't see oily skin people enjoying this because it's very I don't know like very moisturizing and glowy and all that and it also says fragrance free and clinically tested now I would say that I will repurchase this one but I found it to be hard to find on in stores and online so I'm wondering if this is discontinued if it is I'm gonna try to find a replacement within the Isadora brand because I just love so many of their base products and I'm sure that they have something that's as good as this um, if not I've also bought a lot of foundation -y kind of products like tints and and um, and BB's creams and foundations so um, I have more than enough for now but and I guess that's a part of the reason why I wanted to include this foundation to try to get it out of my collection so I can enjoy my new foundations a little bit more. Um, and I don't have, again, it's a little bit hard to see how much is left, but I think we're about here. <laughs> this much left and I have no idea how long it's gonna take. I usually use one small pump all over my face. I don't like to layer my foundation. I don't like to apply too much. I want it to be as natural as possible. I want my real skin to shine through and with all my freckles and imperfections. The only reason I wanna apply my foundation is just basically to even out my skin tone a little bit and give my skin a little bit more glow. Not too much, but just a natural glow. Um, and I absolutely feel like this gives me that. So that is that. That's my fifth product that I'm going to include in this project. And yeah, that's my update. So I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!